The poverty rates in the US hover around 20% for blacks. This is the highest of every category, you know, and when you look at it compared to white and Hispanic, which hovers somewhere around five, uh, six to seven percent, this is the impact of the pookie. And it's something that we cannot ignore. We ignore it at our own peril because this needs to be solved. And as we think that it has to be solved on an individual, individual basis, because what is happening is that our children are growing up without fathers. Our households don't have two incomes. This leads to more poverty. There is more crime happening because men don't feel the sense of responsibility and they don't have a steady job. They don't feel they don't they have nothing to be accountable for. This creates a problem. So something we'll address in this video in depthly. Hi guys, today we're going to do the birth of the Pookie. You know, growing up in Jamaica back in the 80s, it was understandable how someone could become a Pookie. It was very difficult for me because I had a father at home who had high, high expectations for me. So that would have been a great disappointment for him. He had a term, it was called, in Jamaica, it was called a worthless man, a worthless man. A man who went around and had children all over the place and became a nuisance. So that, that was important for me in growing up to say, hey, I don't want to become that guy. But I had several friends who flirted with the idea. And in Jamaica, there's something called the Gallus culture or the culture where you seek to have as many women as possible before you finally settle down. You know, as time went on, people were settling down less. So therefore, it was just have as many women as you could have. And then, you know, there was this famous um, person, and, you know, anyone from Jamaica would remember a man's name, Charlie Mattress, a fabled man. He, had, he said he had the most baby mothers and the most children ever. Growing up, hearing all those stories, coming across that, let me introduce me to this topic, you know. In Jamaica, the Gallus or the girls man. I think right now in, you know, in North America, what we'll call the pookie. And when we think of the birth of the pookie, I don't think it's any much different uh, pookie being born in Kingston, Jamaica, or in Brixton in England, or New York or Miami in the US, or in Toronto in Canada. It's the same birth. It's the same process. I mean, this young man normally has, you know, a, a mother who takes care of him, a father that's absent, or emotionally distant and he grows up thinking hey you know how do i get some self-actualization and normally that means that he goes out there and he learns how to love bomb and he learns how to let a woman fall in love with him very quickly and then you know as soon as he gets what he wants he moves on so these are our pookies that we have to deal with in our communities and we have to think about it pookie the gallus the girls man it's just a mindset it is actually a character, something that we... So in today's show, we take a deeper look at the Pookie because the important thing of the Pookie is that the Pookies are born and they're created in the environment that they live. And I'll introduce the thought that there is a Pookie spectrum. You know, you have those high-functioning Pookies who, you know, they are able to sustain marriages well, <laughs> having several um, women on the side. And you have the moderately afflicted and those guys are basically guys that can function in more of a, I would say, a, a hood environment where they are basically maintain a job and they also have, you know, multiple baby mothers. I think that's one that people encounter the, the most. Then you have the severe case, and that's a very dangerous case because that's a case of someone who just goes around and has as many children as they can have possibly. And these people normally have other types of um issues that definitely mental issues that definitely that they face so they are likely in and out of jail these guys um normally after a while they start to abuse you know the, their significant others in their lives and these guys are very destructive i mean these guys go around and they are definitely on a path to you know whenever it's cold and they don't want to um they don't have somewhere to stay they find these women normally a bit over you know, overweight women, and they've, you know, they basically are a bit of like predatory, and they, they leech off these women, they use them, use their cars, their resources, and then when they're, you know, they feel that it's time they can move on, they move to someone else, and but this, this um psychopathy is something that needs to be looked at in depthly 
because you know i always go back to john singleton you know when he did that movie on baby boy with jody and and with yvette one thing you would notice from the pookie that he tried to show and, and sometimes these characters are composites of actual people that you meet in life the number one thing was is that the goal the goal you always looked at it that the goal in many situations it was kind of bifurcated they all want success just like us we all want success but they were looking for love in many places and they were looking he wasn't satisfied with just one woman you know it was peanut and yvette and you know even he was starting to talk to a girl at her workplace because for him he needed that validation and he was going to search for it um constantly and he couldn't stand the fact that he could not produce and one of the things that was clear and i think we have to look at the how good and how intelligent um john singleton was he tried to show that the pookie feels inadequate the pookie actually has low self-esteem because the pookie cannot survive as a traditional provider and protector he can't because that is not his forte that is not his strength his strength is the love bomb and make sure that someone feels company and feels that they have someone even if it is to share and he goes around from woman to woman and he ensures that they satisfy his need for maybe it's sexual pleasure and also just to be with someone and he satisfies their pleasure of just having someone in their lives and so it's a it's a bargain and exchange that i notice but what's important about the pookie is that the pookie never generally has a strong father in his life because he does not understand or i wouldn't say understand he has not seen it physically manifested or or practicing in his in his presence how a real man operates and when i say real man what society expects of a man because i think what society expects of men has evolved over time right now i think society is expecting a man to be a partner to a woman raise a child and um you know be responsible that's not the pookie's world the pookie's world is just like a lion or a wolf it, it is to it is that evolutionary that core um i would say part of the mammalian brain in the man to ensure that you procreate as much as possible and leave your mark on this world and to the pugia success is how many children are left and um that's that's something that it goes back to the animal kingdom this evolved man and civilization requires men to be gentlemen requires men to be husbands and providers that world is a bit different now later on we'll look in subsequent videos on how pookies can help themselves but what we have to understand is these men walking around especially the ones on the severe side of the spectrum those men need help and until they get help they will continue doing what they they do because they are operating off of a different value system they when they hear here hey you know you have eight baby mothers and 12 children he says he has a lot of pride from that and that's something that he considers to be you know his success in life let's look at this success like and let's measure it as a pookie the pookie that you know has the is about six foot you know six foot tall moderately attractive to women um fit that pookie will be successful in his own world because he will find that there are several women who are willing to you know procreate with him have a relationship with him and that's something that he thrives on i mean think about it if a pookie was um 250 pound and five foot six he'd be very unsuccessful so these pookies are definitely you know they have a significant physical stature they're not your your run of the mill and that's why sometimes men tend to blame women and say you should choose better because innately they know that the reason why these pookies are successful is because they are more attractive and you know when you look at you know famous guys who could be a pookie you know you look at someone like a tupac shakur or you look at um you know tyrese Gibbons, gibson or, or that and you look at those guys those guys fit the mold that they could be 
and I'm not saying that they are, but they could be. Women find them attractive if they have the mindset and they decide that they're going to do that. And you'll have those those eight, nine, ten, fifteen baby mothers and you know a plethora of children. And that's something that when you look at it, Pookies have their enablers, and their enablers are driven by a value system. A value system that's different. A value system that seems to be prevalent. I don't think it causes anyone to thrive. It's actually unsuccessful, but it's very prevalent in the hood. And that, and I've seen it in my past um, time in Jamaica. You saw it. We call it the ghetto, you know, or the garrison community. You saw it. You saw where the pookie went around and he just had a lot of children. And when, when women come across that pookie, it's so strange because if you are baby mother number two, or baby num- number three, shouldn't you take heed? What about if you're baby mother number four or baby mother number five? When do you take heed? But we're not here to blame women for this issue. We're here to just look at that pookie. That pookie definitely is on a path to achieve success, how he defines success, how that pookie society defines success. And the rap music definitely, it, 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 it tells you what the playbook is. And that playbook um, is spelled out into several rap, rap um, songs and all of that. It says basically more girls, more fun, you know, more drugs, all of that. That is the lifestyle that these guys go after. Something that the community needs to look at. But it, I don't think a community solves it. I think it's on an individual level. And this pookie spectrum, I think that you know when you look at it it's pookies having pookies so basically um you know like marvin gay said like a rolling stone the father's like a rolling stone these rolling stones go around and have a lot of different children and these children you know become rolling stones and have their children and then you have generational and generations of children who never grew up with a father and this this has a significant impact on the black community, something we can never ignore and something that needs to be solved. But as I said, my my message is on an individual level. People have to make choices. And this is not about women or, or women. We need to look at the men. Men need to make choices to not be a pookie and see the impacts of it and see that the fact that this is not a lifestyle that anyone should want to have. I mean, at the end of it, child support, um, having children, you know, going to bed crying because they probably didn't have food, they didn't get the attention. That's not something that any man should want for his children. And this is something that men need to come to the table to figure out that, listen, what you're doing is wrong. And when we go to the moderate pookie, you know, the guy who has a job, but he may have two baby mothers or three baby mothers, um, that guy, he he is not going to be successful. I mean, let's face it, he has three households to support, two or three households to support. Like his money will be going out into different uh, different directions. Why didn't he consolidate and build with one woman? I think that was the most sensible thing. And that guy needs to figure out, hey, you know, you got to commit to a woman and you got to stick through and, and maintain it. When you go to the high function in Pookies, those guys... Um, they are a bit different. I mean, they have the resources to continue what they're doing. And most of those guys are moderately powerful. And, you know, the most popular one we can think of is, um, well, I wouldn't consider future high functioning. I think what he's doing is is, is a bit on, on the um, low functioning side. I, I'm not, I, I think more of the philanderer, you know, someone who, may have a woman on the side, a mistress or a girlfriend on the side or a kept woman, that high functioning pookie damages the, his wife. And his wife normally ends up, you know, in serious uh, mental mental issues because they have to deal with the shame, you know, the fact that you know, his love and his attention is be, is misplaced. He has to divide his attention with children, a mistress, sometimes an outside child. It's unfair to... The people in his life so what we have to look at is the pookie psycho- psychopathy and think about how something like that could be uh, could be stopped and that i think as i said is always personal choice that 
someone has to decide that this is wrong and look at the true outcome of what they're doing. Until they do that and they develop empathy, they will just continue to do this um, pookie, this continue this pookie behavior. And it's something that can be changed and something that people should look into appropriately. So my message is to any man who looks at his life and say, hey, <laughs> this description kind of fits me. Think about it. What has been the impact of what you have done? And think about what is it that you want to do for your children, especially your sons, to ensure that they don't continue this this horrible chain of, of bad behavior. And look at your daughters. Do they deserve to be treated the way that your baby mothers were treated? Something to think about as we go through this.